For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith that he hateth putting away. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously. Malachi 2.16 KJV Thoughts on today's verse My heart breaks for those who hear these words of this verse and feel a shattering in their souls because of what they have endured. God hates the pain, damage, loss, sorrow, and physical damage you carry. We mourn with those who had to leave their marriage to find spiritual, emotional, and physical protection. In our throwaway world, God hates when people are abandoned and we break our lives and others through unrighteous behaviors. We want our spirits to be holy. We don't want our hearts corrupted by selfishness and resentment. We choose not to break faith. We refuse to treat those closest to us with contempt, neglect, or abuse. When people are broken by what causes divorce and the consequences of it, let's find them, include them, and bring them home to God's family for healing. Let's especially be sensitive and supportive of children caught between divorcing parents. Let's remember that God hates divorce and what causes it, but he does not say, I hate the divorced. All sin is forgivable when we genuinely repent and reorient our lives to God, 1 John 1, 5-10, 2, 1-2. My prayer, Almighty God, please make our words strong, our commitments lasting, and our lives faithful to our promises to you and each other. Bless those whose hearts have been shattered by spouses who have treated them unfairly, abusively, and unfaithfully. Thank you for the beautiful examples of many who have had strong marriages. Thank you for those who have stumbled but come back to you, confessed their sins, and gone on to build godly relationships and marriages. Please bless me and my house with a legacy of faithfulness that lasts generations after us. In Jesus' name, Amen. All scripture quotations, unless otherwise indicated, are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version. Copyright 1973, 1978, 1984, 2011 by International Bible Society. Used by permission of Zondervan Publishing House.